guys, Dr. Man here. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to talk today about light. We are in the middle of February right now. There's very little light. There's crazy 15 degree temperatures, but very little light. And this impacts our health. We know it impacts our immunity. We impacts our mood. Um, and it makes the lighting that we have in our homes even more of a relevant issue. So. I wanted to just break down some of the science around the health benefits of lighting. And this comes from the brilliant mind of Dr. Alex Wunsch. He is an expert in photobiology. Um, and he, he talks about the benefits of different types of lighting. Um, and I think it, it's relevant in, in our conversation when we talk about the things that are helpful and things that are harmful for our bodies in our home. So before we get into that, um, let's just quickly talk about light in general um, and this is just a little diagram that I drew up um, highlighting the visible light spectrum um, we have blue light down here at the the 400 nanometer wavelength level and then we have red light near infrared light at the 780 nanometer level um, further on when we get invisible we see TV signals here radar um, and on this end in the invisible spectrum, there are x-rays, et cetera. But the real take home with, with this spectrum of light conversation is that the, the red infrared or the near infrared is health promoting. It stimulates repair, it stimulates regeneration. Um, and it's, it's good for us, it's, it's necessary. Um, it's why the sun benefits our, our health. And then the other end of the spectrum, the blue end of the spectrum, is, is the blue infrared, and it actually induces um, damage. It, it causes react, reactive oxygen species, or ROSs, um, to form in our tissue, um, particularly the eye, and, and it causes degeneration. So obviously, based on that information, we want to expose ourselves as much as we can to the, the near infrared, and we want to limit as much as we can the uh, the blue wavelength. So that's where the conversation around lighting in the home comes in because there are different types of light give off different um, wavelengths. And what I've con contrasted here is LED lights and incandescent lights. And I really want to talk about the potential health hazards of LED lights because they're primarily giving off the blue end of the spectrum and that's why they have a, a blue tint to them um, and contrasted with the old incandescent bulbs which are giving off more of the near infrared end of the spectrum so the main take home is that LED although good for energy savings um, in terms of electricity costs the benefits may not outweigh the risks um, to your health and, and your, your, the health of you and your family may be served by putting in more in, incandescent bulbs back into the home um, and discovering other ways of, of saving energy instead of through your lighting. Um, so the LED lights here, just a summary, there's no near infrared um, in the, the spectrum that they give off. They're just giving off a blue light which induces reactive oxygen species in the tissues. And this is particularly relevant to people that are predisposed um, to macular degeneration or already developing it. Um, the near infrared or the red light is really, really important to protect and regenerate the retina of the eye. So um, if you have macular or are worried about trying to prevent macular, you have to limit your exposure to, to the LED lights as, as best you can. Um, and what we also know about the, the LED lights is that they decrease or blue light at night decreases your secretion of melatonin so this is an important conversation it's even more important um, to look at the lighting in the home after sunset and then the incandescent here um, they're giving off a near infrared they're promoting healing and regeneration um, and they're balancing the negative effects of the the blue light so that's a super quick synopsis of some of the science behind 
um, and the health benefits of, of different sources of light in our home. Um, if you want more information about that, I will absolutely put a link to the interview with this Dr. Alex Wunsch and, and you can get into some, some more of the details, but that, that's the take home message. Blue light coming from LED promotes degeneration. The red light coming from the incandescent promotes repair and, and regeneration. And you want to be able to balance um, your exposure to, to both um, and not over consume the LED and under consume the incandescent.